All right. This one right here, just on a quick humbug shit, man. I just thought of this real quick. Just thought of this motherfucker right here. I said, fuck it, why not? But, uh, this one is about... One day, I'm, uh... Damn, I forget what year that was. I know I was in middle school, so it had to be between 90, 94 and 96. But I forget exactly now. It had to be like in this. I wasn't in the eighth grade yet. It had to be like seventh grade, six, seven grade, some shit like that. So fucking, I don't know why, but for some reason, um, I just told my mom I didn't feel good that day. I didn't feel like going to school. Like I don't even know why. Usually I just I, go, I don't give a fuck about it doing the work. I go up to school just go kick it. But for some reason I was like, man, I don't feel like going to school today. And uh I'm sitting there chilling. I think I I think I had some trees. I think the homie, the little the little Jewish homie had gave me some trees. That's a whole other story. But the homie was giving me it had to be seventh grade. Yeah, it had to be seventh grade. Because he would give me handfuls of trees from his dad's garbage bags and shit. That's a whole nother story. But anyway. So I was had uh that's how I ended up serving trees and my brother's friends and my older motherfuckers and shit, because I had the little homie snatch it. Anyway, hold on, I'm getting off track. But anyways, so that day I'm stay home from school. That's the reason why. Cause I know I had some trees and I just wanna sit post up, roll me a couple of joints, hit a couple Get a couple balls and shit, just chill. Fuck in. I forget. It had to be like around nine or something like that. I forget exactly when it cracked off because I know it's, this shit is very well documented. But that day, the homie jo uh, Joseph called me and say, uh, and I'm like, yo, what are you doing? Why are you not at school right now? He like, man, I stayed home and shit. I'm like, what? Like, nigga, I'm at half a like, nigga, how you know I was gonna be here and shit. Like, nigga. He like, I didn't, I just said, fuck it. Like, nigga, I just called you. So fucking. He was like, man, turn on the news. Woo -woo 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 -woo. So uh I'm like, man, what's cracking, nigga? Like, yo. He like, turn on the news, nigga. These niggas is robbing a bank in North Hollywood. So I'm like, fuck it. I turned it on. Next thing I know, I, I see them niggas ski masked up on the news. Ski masked up. Fucking. And there's some shit too I'm going to say at the end of this video that they ain't going to want to. Can't nobody change my mind because I saw that shit with my own fucking eyes. Uh, but I kept tripping the whole video, right? Dude was standing behind the car. The car was just going in slow motion and shit. Like, nigga didn't even have his foot on the ga gas. He was letting it roll. And dude was coming behind him like. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm watching that shit on the news like, yo, what the fuck going on? These niggas armored up, and then you can low-key see the bullets bouncing off of these niggas. Hand a guy, you can see the fucking, you can see him like some Terminator shit. Good, good, good. But they weren't hitting him in the head. They weren't hitting him in the head. But And you can see low-key like the little fucking, when niggas getting hit, the little dust or whatever you want to call that shit, like bullets bouncing off their ass, like, and they like, tum, tum. <laughs> I'm like, God. So I'm like, I had to be like 12 years old at the time, watching this shit on the news, like live. This shit was live too. Back then, 90s, news cameras didn't give a fuck. They showing that shit. So fuck yeah. I'm watching that shit. And that shit, it, it was a trip because that shit wasn't over fast at all. Like, that shit, that shit was like, uh, damn near, I want to say about the, approximately like an hour long shit. Like, a, and I remember, dude was just coming behind the car and I kept thinking, why they don't get in the car and drive off? Like, on some heat shit, you know what I'm saying? Like the movie Heat. Jump and just try to get like get away. These niggas weren't trying to get away. They were just dumping. Boom, boom. So fucking man, these motherfuckers had. I remember 
one of there was one in the car and one on foot. And one of the, they shot the car up so bad it just stopped. It was I want to say, and you know I could be wrong because like right now I'm not going off the YouTube shit. I'm just going off what I remembered watching on the news that day when I was 12 years old and shit. So this ain't no YouTube shit. I'm trying to remember firsthand what the fuck I was watching for real, uh, live, live on that shit. So. They shoot the shit out the fucking car. That shit was like an old ass, I don't know, some Chrysler or some shit like that, I think. But I don't even know what it was, but it was like, nigga, where y'all going in this shit? But uh, it was trying to be inconspicuous. and trying to rob a bank, so I feel him. But uh, I remember one dude had hit a fence. Like, he didn't jump the fence, but he like backed up against the fence. And... Uh, I remember his pistol, his the the AK ran out. His AK ran out of bullets and shit, and he grabbed his his nine or whatever pistol he had and shit, and that shit jammed on him. And I remember watching this nigga. He got his head down, right, and he trying to he trying to uncock that shit, or he like trying to get that jam bullet, that jam shell out that motherfucker. And when he does that, right, all you all you seen was this, doop, and a big old cloud of fucking. Red pink smoke, like like pink dust. Like toom, you see the nigga go toom, toom. Like I was like, ooh, they got him on live TV. They got him. Like they got him. And I forget what the other I think the other nigga, he he had just got shot up and just bled out over there in the cut. And I was like, they not helping that. <laughs> they not helping that nigga right now. They like, yo, let that nigga die right now. Cause he was, they was dumping the shit out the police. That was that North Hollywood shooting, the North Hollywood bank robbery on Lancashire Boulevard, and uh, I believe that's Victory right there. Cause if you go down past the, it's a cold water, it's a McDonald's and a Burger King. Shoot past the movie theater, I'm not there. Shoot past Wissett, then uh, that would be a Foot Locker right there. And if you go down under the bridge and all that shit, you got a movie theater, and then you got the. Uh, I think it's a, uh, a burning tent or some shit like that on your left now. Or whatever the fuck it's called, Ross or whatever. And then you hit the left and there's a KFC and the Bank of America that was right there. And the Washington Mutual was on the corner. But that Bank of America, that was that famous bank, rob that bank, that North Hollywood bank robbery and shit. And they keep saying, dude committed suicide. But nah, that, they, they blew that nigga's head right off on live TV and shit. And I just remember, the, I just remember to this day, 12 years old, watching that shit on TV. A big ass cloud of just pink smoke. And he just that up. Tonk against the it was a brown fence. Like some brown Mr. Miyagi karate kid fence and shit, man. He was against that shit. He went to uncock his shit. And he got it. And when he came, whoop. I was like, damn. That shit fucked me up at 12. Like, damn, 12, all right. Like, yo, I went there in person and shit, but I don't know. That shit, you know, 12 year olds should be seeing that shit. All right, that's the last one for the day. That was a North Hollywood bank robbery right there. That nigga didn't commit suicide. They was both killed.